in the previous video we discussed about uh, density of states and we derived the expression for density of states and in another video we discussed about the fermi dirac distribution function so density of states function gives you the number of electronic states present per unit volume per unit energy range and the fermi dirac distribution function gives you the idea about the distribution of fermions including electrons and holes so if i have the distribution function and the number of electronic states present then i will be able to find out the um, concentration of electrons in a particular energy range so gce multiplied with f of e de integrated over ec to infinite ec to infinite will give us the electron concentration in thermal equilibrium so ec when we said the conduction band the shape of the conduction band is this and you got the minimum value of energy in the conduction band is ec and uh, let us consider any electronic state corresponding to uh, some energy e so here if i want to find out the number of electrons present in the conduction band itself i will um take the limit from ec to some infinite value why infinite value the surface potential um as we said is infinite so it behaves as if the electron is trapped inside a potential well where you said the electrons are relatively free here within this confined dimension and um, it cannot escape that potential well because uh, as it is trapped in the potential well so Uh, this limit we have taken in finite uh, the energy limit and this is um, ec the lower value of energy um, um another approximation we will take here that is the fermi dirac distribution function is reduced to maxwell boltzmann function okay um under the condition if we will consider um, that e this e any value here uh, corresponding to a particular energy state e is much larger than this um, ec so e is much larger than um, e is larger than ec so not much larger than e is larger than ec and if i will consider um, the approximation that is um, that is um, ec minus ef ec minus ef which is the fermi energy level is um, is um, much larger than much larger than kt ec minus ef is much larger than kt so when we said um, fermi energy level fermi energy level is somewhere in between um, ec and ev in the next other video we, i will tell you what is the position of the fermi energy level exact position of the fermi energy level but for now i can say this is the um, this is somewhere in between ec and ev and if you will see this gap ec minus ev which is almost half of the band gap that is uh, half of the energy gap between ec and ev so this kt value for t is 300 kelvin that is room temperature and k being the boltzmann constant the value comes around 0.025 electron volt so this value is very very less so we can use this approximation of ec minus ef is much larger than kt so e is greater than ec then of course we can write this e uh, minus ef e minus ef will also be larger than kt so we will use this um, uh, um, e minus ef is much larger than kt condition in the fermi dirac distribution function and this um, will be reduced to maxwell boltzmann approximation so we will do that the fermi dirac distribution function that we obtained is given by f of e is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus exponential of e minus ef by e minus ef e minus ef divided by kt e minus ef by kt this is what we got and then uh, just now i said we can take the condition that is e minus ef is much larger than kt so we can write 
E minus E F divided by K T is much larger than one, of course, and um, exponential of E minus E F divided by K T will be then much larger than one. So we can ignore um, here. Uh, we can ignore the value of one as compared to this um, large value. So we can further rewrite the Fermi distribution function f of e can now be written as one divided by exponential of ignoring this one uh, with respect to this exponential of e minus e by k t. So this is e minus e f divided by k t. Okay, so this is nothing but minus of Mm, e minus E F um, divided by K T. This is exponential e to the power. Okay, so this is what we will use, and this is called the Maxwell Boltzmann Maxwell Boltzmann approximation approximation of for me direct distribution function. So in place of f e, we are going we are going to use this um, f of e, okay. So in the so um, we got the value. So if I want to find out what is the value of n zero, we have integration e c to infinity, and uh, we have this g c e which is a known value we have already calculated this and here the distribution function will now be the maxwell maxwell boltzmann approximation d let us now substitute these values so gce is given by so integration ec to infinite and then for gce we can write um, we have already determined the value that is um, given by 4 uh, pi um, 2 m n star m n star is the effective mass of electron and then 3 upon 2 um, square root of e minus e c then exponential of this term f for this is for the um, distribution function which we obtained which we obtained um, minus e minus e c e minus e f by k t sorry e minus e f minus of e minus e f by k t mm, d e k t t e so here divided by um, h cube this was the value so this is for density of states density of states in the conduction band density of states in the conduction band this is g c e and this is your for me direct distribution function this is for f of e this is for f of e this is uh, the maxwell boltzmann approximation of for me direct distribution function now we will uh, just simplify it further uh, simplifying it further rewriting this way this is um, given by whatever the constant terms let's take those outside 4 pi divided by h cube and then twice m n star to the power 3 by 2 then we will break this exponential of minus of e minus e f by k t as exponential of let me write this first e f minus e c divided by k t okay and start the integration ec and then infinity this i will write e minus ec to the power half which is there here mm, which is there here then the exponential part multiplied with exponential of i will write minus of e minus e c e minus e c by k t k t and then d e d okay so what we did here 
we have minus minus plus EC and minus EC will be cancelled and you got EF minus E which is nothing but uh, the same EF minus E okay here okay so now what we can write we got E minus EC to the power 1 by 2 and here we got the same exponential of minus of E minus EC by KT okay further simplifying further simplifying we can rewrite this okay let's um, let's now take um, this e minus ec e minus ec divided by kt is uh, is x okay and uh, then we have de will be kt times dx so to change the limit if e is equal to ec when e is equal to ec this x will be zero and when e is infinite then your x will also be infinite infinity okay so we can write um, now n0 is given by the constant term 4 pi by h cube and then twice of mn star the effective mass of electron to the power 3 by 2 you have exponential of ef minus ec divided by kt the constant term and then integration change the limit ec is 0 now infinite it will be remain as it is x to the power 1 by 2 and then we have kt to the power 1 by 2 and uh, e to the power minus x and um, d is kt dx so substituting these and uh, further simplifying 4 pi by h cube and we got this 2 m n star the effective mass and this k t to the power 3 by 2 the constant this um, k t and this k t to the power 3 by 2 and then we have the constant exponential term exponential of e f minus e c divided by k t which is there and within the integration now we have 0 to infinity x to the power 1 by 2 e to the power minus x dx okay so now this value is using gamma function this uh, can be determined to be root over pi by 2 using the gamma function okay substitute this root pi by 2 and write the final value so substituting x to the power 1 by 2 e to the power minus x dx integrated over 0 to infinity as root pi by 2 we can further write n0 is equal to twice of the whole thing 2 pi m n star k t divided by this h square to the power 3 by 2 um, exponential of minus of ec minus e f divided by k t divided by k t okay so now this clearly gives uh, two terms multiplied so multiplication of two different terms one is this and this uh, term is some distribution function so this um, gives you some density of states term because concentration electron concentration must be multiplication of two terms density of states one is density of states and the other is the distribution function distribution function so this is known as this this we will call as um, the effective density of states effective effective density of states of states in the conduction band in the conduction band and um, this is the distribution function which we said the maxwell boltzmann approximation maxwell boltzmann approximation of fermi dirac distribution fermi dirac distribution okay so these are the two terms this term uh, is written as nc which gives us the effective density of states in the 
conduction band multiplied with exponential of this is minus of e c minus e f divided by k t so this is the final expression you can see for the um, concentration of electrons in the conduction band in thermal equilibrium this is the expression